My name is Elder Jackson III, and presently I serve as co-executive director of the Inside Circle. That is not only my vocation, it is also the contribution I make to impact on social justice, and it is my life's passion. Working with Inside Circle and serving as a facilitator of Inside Circle is uh, my life's passion because it is work that saved my life. I served 24 years of a life sentence in the California prison system, and that is where Inside Circle discovered me and reconnected me with my humanity, my emotional well-being, and uh, stable mental health. There's a lot going on in the world today, and sometimes I know and understand that it can be confusing. There's a lot uh, in the news right now and uh, in the media about uh, racism and, and racial, racial violence. And I understand that that can be something that can bring up fears. It can bring up insecurities. And sometimes we might, or I might wonder whether or not my fears or thoughts are unfounded. And let me be very clear, whatever you feel is real. Racism and racial violence and racial injustice are very real things and they do exist and they do impact. They have impacted me uh, and, and my mentality and the way that I think being a black man because there are things that I think about and have fears about that some might see as irrational but for me are very real. If I'm driving down the road and I get pulled over or not even pulled over. If a uh, police cruiser happens to get behind me, my heart rate starts to beat. And I wonder, number one, am I going to get pulled over? And number two, if I do get pulled over, will I survive this? Will I just get a ticket or will I, will I get a bullet in the back? So that is how uh, racial violence and a system of racism shows up for me and affects my mental my mentality the best way that i have discovered to care for self and as a byproduct of that take care of others is to tend to my mental health to tend to my emotional health because as long as i am allowing those things to remain suppressed and remain unaddressed they will stymie me. They will hinder my growth. They will hinder my emotional ability to function. They will hinder my mental ability to not only function with myself, but to engage with others and have an impact with my community. And my true desire and goal is to have an impact in my community. So I encourage all to, number one, acknowledge and honor your emotions acknowledge and honor that you have fears, that you have questions, that you have anger, that you have frustration. It's all valid. It's all welcome. It's all a part of the human condition and a part of healing. It's a part of being able to find solutions and move into a place to be able to uh, collectively and uh, constructively build our communities and work towards a better tomorrow.